At last I have control of your TV set. Welcome everybody to a new segment called God, I hope that's chocolate pudding. I mean, it could be so many different things. What, what do you think? I mean, it, yeah, I'm not even going to imagine what else it could be. Um, here it goes. Mm, it is. Oh, thank God it is. Okay, good. Moving on. Hello, Witchy Dirt TV. I'm Turkey Dirt. Just thought I would give you a little idea about how to build the impossible wasps. Uh, just in case you're interested in trying this, you're on console, can't quite grab the one that I have. I can try doing this from the very, very, very beginning. Uh, something like this. So I'm having an echo cab. That is really, really good. I also tried the howl, which is not bad because usually I would hit guys close range anyway, but echo has got a better perk and this needs so many bumpers that yeah seriously it needs a lot of help there's so many bumpers gun and bumpers way a hell of a lot as you know uh, it does really help a lot so here's how we do it i take a wasp happens to be reloading which i do recommend so there is wasp number one okay and wasp number two has to rotate in this direction um how do we do that turkey well you're gonna need a, a grill for this one like so, small buggy floor, put that right where it should be, there you go. Now, grab one of these and rotate it. And just stick it right up on the grill, so that's how that works. Okay, so one this way, one that way. Got it? Good. Now, the trick here is, the armor track is what makes this entire build. That's was going to protect your wasp completely. So that is what we go for. See, there you go. Bang and bang. Perfect. Now, as far as cricket, so for this, I will need at least uh, one of these guys. So for crickets, I just kind of have to put them low enough. It has to be pretty much on the cab. And see how the cap is not quite protecting it because I have to put the ammo box somewhere. So I choose to put that over here under the cab. If you want to go really crazy, you can put some of these guys in there, some regular blue ammo boxes. Cool, now you're shooting for days, not a problem. Okay, so that is the basics, everybody. So from the back, you want to armor up a little bit. I won't do a full armoring. So just to give you an idea, you're going to armor up the back a little bit. Here are my first bumpers. I'm using terrible bars just to help protect the generator over there. Nice and simple. And if you have Steppenwolves, you can do this. If not, you can do something else. But it's very, very simple just to kind of line up the sides a little bit. There you go. And you're pretty much creating barrels for these wasps to shoot through. And one thing that I believe helps is having some grill pieces just above. So just in case any stray bullets come in here, they might hit that grill piece. And that grill piece will, stay, will stick around and hopefully save your wasps even more. So I'm gonna have to move these ammo boxes a little bit out of the way. Because I need my frames to come in this way. It adds redundancy to the tracks, which is good. And it's also going to help me out with my first pair of wheels. And those wheels are pretty much just to protect the wasps a little bit. So there's a, you have a few options here. Uh, my favorite is to kind of come out and then get some small tracks. They don't have to be small tracks. They can be anything. I've also used shivs. That was kind of nice. But the wheels sometimes can block these wasps. So that's why I kind of have to go outwards a little bit.
But it's up to you. If this is working out just fine, then I guess keep on going with that. Now you're gonna need some serious bumpers in the front. How do we do that? You have many options here, many options. The easiest one is just a big old train plow. And that again will help build wasps. And it might also help you out with these crickets a little bit. It will take some of those damage. It also doesn't hurt to stick it out a little bit, and I'll use some grilled pieces. I like putting plows attached to grilled pieces, so I don't lose them right away. I put them a little bit over here. Great, now they stick out more. Now these wasps are underslung, which is really what you want. Meanwhile, you can cover up the top with stepping wolves or whatever you want, really. There you go, not looking too pretty, just showing you how it works. Now up here, just for symmetry, I'll put a grilled piece above this wasp as well, just like the other one was. And now when I look through here, all I see is grills. I barely see those wasps at all. We can cover up the very top as well. What I've been doing is just getting some straight pipes. And that goes right against the grill. Anything to get in the way of the wasps or any stray bullets will definitely help you. So it looks kind of like, like a fake cannon as well. It's kind of cool. And then what really makes this build work is having two snow plows right in front. So watch where I'm putting them. One notch down and just so it doesn't cover the wasp. There you go. That covers the wasp and the cricket. It's pretty ingenious. So there you go. The wasp can still shoot. The crickets can still shoot. Anything more, if I went one in, now the crickets don't shoot anymore. They need a little bit of a cone that's clear for shooting, so that's pretty good. And that is it. So now I test this out. Okay, will it shoot? Will it shoot? Mostly. Yep, mostly. So now you have to get used to, are they all firing? And if they're not, is it because I have to aim better? Or is it because something really is obstructing them? And if they are obstructing, then go back here. Um, notice the wasp are asymmetrical. That means one of them might be clear, one might not be. So if you're really not clear, you can always bring this one out. And now you have to find another way to put these together. There you go, and you can test it again. Always, always test, always. Let's see, all of them are shooting, cool. Now you are set, and watch where you aim. Notice if I kind of aim straight ahead, sometimes I end up shooting the floor. So be careful about that. If there's any kind of hill, it's gonna mess up your aim. See that? See, my wasps are trying to aim at the floor right now, so what I can do is I can kind of bring my camera down, and shoot straight ahead. So you have, it's a little bit tricky, a little bit tricky. And that's it, and then just HP this guy. Just put armor all over the place, get some HP on him, and that's really all you need. Usually what I also do is I'll do something like add a hot red right in front, and that of course will help with the reloading speed and make this thing faster, so that is a very good addition as well. And there you have it. Hope you guys will enjoy this. It is on exhibition as Dirky Rocket Man. Notice this one I have the shivs. And just slapped on a lot more HP onto this thing. But really, I encourage you to go ahead and try it out on your own and have some fun out there. And I will see you folks later. By the way, if you thought the Echo Cab's perk is cool, guys, it's a bug zapper. Look, it's just a bug zapper. Look at it. That's what it is. It's a bug zapper. Look. It's just killing flies. That's all it does. It just kills flies in there. It gets kind of gross in there. All right, guys, bye. Especially when Bulldog is in there. He's kind of sneaky. All right, guys, bye. Don't drop that dirk, dirk. Hey, don't drop that dirk.